Hey guys, this is Andrew Bouchard and welcome to Deutsche. We're located in our showroom in Charlotte, North Carolina. And for those that aren't familiar with us, we're a custom design manufacturing company that specializes in sanitary process equipment for things like craft breweries, extraction, post-processing systems, coffee, nutraceuticals, cosmetics, collagens, just to name a few. But with the recent boom of infused beverages, seltzers, and craft drinks hitting the market, we wanted to take you through and show a whole scope of what we can provide here at Deutsche. So today, we're gonna be walking you through our infused infused beverage system. Now, the thing to remember when I say infused beverages, I mean fruits, flowers, spices, anything that you want to enhance with a natural flavoring or different type of cannabinoids such as THC, CBD, or others that you can find in the cannabis plant. So this setup behind me is a three and a half barrel or 100 gallon system. What you're going to see if you're using 12 ounce cans on the back of this is right around 1,050 to 1,060 cans. So. Keep in mind that everybody's got their own special recipe and formulation. Now, depending if you have a water-soluble distillate or need nano emulsification, we can configure different pumps and drives to make sure that you get the right end product. For this, for this run through, we're gonna assume that you have a water-soluble distillate. So, as you can see, we have the system on a platform. This is gonna make your life a lot easier when it comes to material loading in and out of the system. So if you take a look up here, and we can take a look inside, you'll be able to see we have two heating elements with a prop impeller. Now the system is gonna be jacketed, so you'll be able to control the temperature in and out with our Siemen panels. So what we also can see from the center of this tank is two electric heating elements. This is gonna save a lot of load on your boiler or chiller if you have to have one equipped. What you can see right here is also our clean in place spray ball. So this is gonna make sure that everything is cleaned and sanitized in between batches. What the jacket and the tank also comes with is a tans gentle port. So this is gonna cause an automatic whirlpool effect to help, eat, to help the mixing process when water goes into your tank. So for the beginning of the process, we're gonna be able to move water into the vessel from here. Now this water can either come from a reverse osmosis filter, a hot liquor tank, or just regular city water that you have on premises. For easier mixing, as I mentioned, the tank comes equipped with a tangential port, which will automatically cause a whirlpool effect inside the tank. Now, once you have your desired water level and temperature, you can easily add your flavoring components, sugar, syrups, or whatever your specific recipe is gonna call for right here on the manway. Set your temperature, time, mixing, Boom, you're off on the braces on your first batch. Now, after you've set your time, temperature, and mixing speed, and everything is nice and stirred up, it's time to add your distillate. So, we have your distillate added, we have your sugar additives, your syrup, everything's good and mixed up. Now, the liquid in here to get those sugars dissolved is gonna be pretty hot, anywhere from 160 to 180 degrees. It can go even higher if you're doing things like sweet tea and you wanna super saturate that mixture. Now, how we're gonna combat that heat is we're gonna run the mixture and formulation through our dual heat exchanger. What this is gonna do is it's gonna run either cold water or glycol through these plates while the liquid is moving through the pipes. And what that's gonna do is really save a load on your chiller when it comes time for carbonation. So now that the temperature is at a desirable and manageable rate, the next step in the process is going to be the carbonation or fermentation phase. What we're going to do is move the liquid through these pumps into what's called a bright tank. Now the tank is going to be jacketed and filled with again either cold water or glycol to help crash that temperature down. Seltzers and the like beverages like to be canned as cold as possible, so this glycol is going to be introduced on the outside to make sure that you have a consistent temperature with no surprises for your beverage. Now, you're going to say, Andrew, I don't want to use sugars. I don't want to use artificial flavoring. Not a problem. We got you covered. What we have here is a tilting hop infuser or a V-wire removable basket. This vessel is going to be sealed to prevent oxidation to happen to all of your additional additives. How this process is going to work, once this is closed and sealed, we'll be able to circulate water through here, picking up all of that good natural flavorings. So as an additional step, what we've done is added a microbial filter right here. So this is gonna be able to do things. One, help you with the clarity of your beverage, as well as help pick up any of those additional particulates that may have come from your additive. Now, once the bag has done its work and caught all of the nasties that you don't want in your beverage, what we're gonna do is simply circulate all that liquid and mixture back into your original tank, where it's gonna flow and agitate and get suspended properly for your formulation.
So that was just kind of a basic rundown of an infused beverage in our system. Now we know there's a million different recipes and a million different ways that you can get your final product or SKU out there. And we wanna help you do that. So guys, give us a call, don't wait. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for stopping by. Oh,